All right, Ivana. Char Kui Tao. Tiao. Char Kui Tiao. Char Kui Tiao, which mm -hmm. means, I have no idea. I think it means fried uh, rice noodles. I don't fried know. noodles. <laughs> there you go. So which one are you making? The wet or the dry? We've tried this many times in Malaysia. We've tried the wet and the dry. Yeah. Which one will you be making? We're making both today. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Now, which one do you prefer? Uh, from the char kway tiao that we have tried here in Malaysia, I prefer the dry. Same. Yeah, but we'll see. We'll see which one you make better. <laughs> so here are all the ingredients here. So, uh, the dry and the wet version of the char kway tiao is actually almost the same ingredients. We have uh, fish sauce, soy sauce, um, tiram is oyster sauce, and sweet soy sauce. So the sweet soy sauce is actually more dense and thick, mm. like honey. And then we got chili bowl, which is chili paste, um, ikan bolish, Whoa. stock. Looks like cigarette pack. It's a fish stock. Uh oh. And sambal belacan. Of course. Again, garlic and onion. And um, oh, we'll these look so good. Some shrimp, shrimp. But the difference is for the wet version, we'll leave the head on. Really? So we'll boil it and make a shrimp stock out of it. Okay. And for the dry version, mm. we'll use the clean version. Bean sprouts? Bean sprouts. I uh, knew it. Uh, no idea. It's Chinese chive. Chives. And also, this is the char kway tiao. Char so This looks this. like cabbage. <laughs> cabbage noodle. I would call it cabbage noodle. Anyway. Cabbage. <laughs> but I bought it pre-packed like this. This is a pack of the noodles? Yeah. Cool, there you have it. All right. So let's make the wet version first. Wet version first. Yeah, it's slightly slightly more complicated than the dry one, I think. Let's do it. So we'll make the shrimp stock first. We got boiling water already. I'm just gonna put in all, I put like five shrimps in the boiling water. So after about five minutes, we'll take out all the shrimps. So we'll put the shrimp the cooked shrimp aside, we'll use it for later. And for the broth, we're gonna add one cube of the fish stock, one tablespoon of soy sauce, fish sauce, oyster sauce, sweet soy sauce. Okay, so let's add the uh, this liquid, liquid broth aside. Let's fire up the Walk. Okay, and we're gonna saute some garlic and onion. So once the garlic turns golden brown, we'll add some sambal belacan. And also we'll add some of the broth we made earlier. And one important ingredient that I forgot to mention the, in the beginning of the video is we're gonna add some eggs. And just whisk it. And we'll add the shrimp back into our mixture. And then we'll add our kway tiao. The, uh, the noodle. It's kind of sticking together now, so I'm not sure how it's gonna be. Good question. Is it gonna break? It might break actually. Well, the heat might help it unlock. Maybe. Maybe. And I'm also going to add some bean sprout. The noodles are starting to... Uh, to break, yeah. Yeah, yeah it enough. looks good. I didn't know they will loosen up once you kick it. No problem. I was a little worried. Nothing to worry about, Ivana. Hmm. <laughs> actually, it's pretty good. Mm. Looks good. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so the wet version is now ready. We're gonna set it apart. I mean, put it aside. Because it's ready and we're gonna cook the dry noodles. And what really important is we have to make sure that the wok is really hot. Okay, you see how uh, the wok is smoky? Do you see the smoke? <laughs> Sorry, my hand. Is Water from your hand. <laughs> okay, anyway, we're gonna saute the garlic. Really hot. And we're gonna add the shrimp. Cooking with Ivana. And then some chili peas. Ooh. And we're gonna add the char kway tiao noodles. So while we wait for the noodles to soften up, I'm gonna make the uh, sauce mix. So, some soy sauce. 
Again, this is the same, actually the same sauce mix as the other, the wet version. Fish sauce, oyster sauce. Oh, the oyster sauce smells strong. Smells good and though. And the sweet soy sauce. So really the main difference between the wet and the dry is the broth. Yeah, the broth. The shrimp broth. And uh, I think it has a more uh, stronger fishy flavor. I think you're right. Yeah. Now that looks good. We're gonna add some bean sprouts. Mm. A handful. Those are just sitting in water? Yeah. Just water. Mm, that looks good. While that's cooking, we're gonna add some eggs, but we're gonna put it to the side first. So this is how you do it. Notice the difference between the wet version and the dry version, how we cook the eggs too is different. And let the noodles sit on top of the eggs. Oh. And one last ingredient, when uh, we cook the wet version, we use green onions, but for the Chinese dry version, we'll use Chinese chai. Okay, and it's pretty much ready, man. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get this stuff on plates and let's get eaten. I'm hungry. With the banana leaf on the bottom. Wow. This looks just like it would look at a restaurant. Probably better. Lana, you really are an amazing chef. So there's the wet one. You can see the sauce and the bigger shrimp with the heads on it. And over here, the dry one. Ooh, to me the dry one looks so good. The wet one looks a little bit more, I don't know. Not as good, sloppy, soupy. Both look good though, Ivana. So, mm. I don't know if it's true, but I heard online that the mole is trying to actually recreate the dry version, but they just couldn't master it. So that's why it's wet. Ooh, it's an accidental yeah. masterpiece. Accidental masterpiece. It turns out good anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, let's try. Let's do it. All right. Let the debate begin. Wet versus dry. Chinese versus Malay. Mm -hmm. Fork versus spoon, really, isn't it? Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. I tell you what we'll do. We'll put a comment pinned to the top of the comments saying wet versus dry. Go to the comments and cast your vote. We'll see which is more popular. Mm -hmm. Amongst our Malaysian fans. Uh, I think dry is better. It just so looks I got, so good. I got the wet one and Steve got the dry one. That's good, Ivana. That's really good. So the wet one got the liquid sauce mm. and the dry one you could actually see the burnt yeah. part. Mm, it tastes like that. Is, it tastes like... Uh, which is the key. Yeah, smoky or, um, you know, barbecued. Mm. Okay. Mm. It's actually a little bit crunchy. The burnt parts, it's not a mistake with the burnt parts. It's supposed to be black and parts. Mmm, really it's nice. Good too. Really nice. Plus, it's like 2 p.m. This is our first meal of the day. So, That's true. really good. It's gonna be hard to be better than the dry one, Ivana. Really, really good. So, what do you say? I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty good. It's the pretty wet darn one. good. So, I haven't tried the dry one. The dry one is so good. And it's my own cooking, and I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> Wow. Mm. And the shrimp is so juicy. Mm. It's amazing that one year ago, I didn't eat anything from the ocean. Nothing. Didn't eat, oh my gosh, so many things. Tomatoes, eggplants, mushrooms. The list goes on and on and on. Now I'm eating everything and I'm eating wet charcoal tiao. This is something that I would look at and I would say, that's gross. <laughs> right? So good. So good. So, okay. You, said you, you usually like the dry one mm -hmm. from the restaurants we tried in Malaysia, but yeah. you haven't tried mine yet. So yeah. let's see which one you okay, okay. prefer for I, my food. I really like the crunchy part of the dry one. Let me show you what it looks like. This is what the wet one lacks. The wet one is too soupy and kind of smushy. The dry one has a crunch to it. It's just, mm. Okay, let's switch. I'll mm. try with the dry one. Then. Okay, switch. Oh, eat the, eat the wet one with the fork too. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's way different though. Just the texture of it, it's just more mushy. Yeah. Different. See the difference? You can really see the difference. Wet to dry. I honestly think the comments will be full of people saying dry is better. What do you think, Ivana? What do you expect? Uh, Look at the wet, it's just mushy. The dry is crispy. Oh, crispy. yummy. Mm -hmm. What do you expect? Mm -hmm. If you had to guess, Ivana? Which one do you like better? Oh, the wet is good. 
I like the dry too, though. Whoa, I never realized it was so good. good. Honestly, we had one kind of bad wet one. It was really cheap when we were at street food. I forget where we were, but it kind of changed my opinion. The wet one. Whoa, wait, why not? The wet one is good. What? I'm gonna change my mind. Really? You like no, I can't change my mind. Let me think. Let me think. They're both good. They're right? both good. This one mm -hmm. is way more fish flavor. Mm -hmm. The fish stock, you can tell. Mm -hmm. Wow, the wet one is good. They really are a different thing. Same ingredients, but way different experience. This one is like, um, I think the dry one's better. The wet one is good though. I could go for both. I could crave a different one at a different time, yeah. depending on what I want. So the dry one, actually, I made the, this is the halal version, the non-halal version. You usually use a uh, pork lard to cook it with and mm. Chinese sausage. Interesting. Which makes it even more flavorful. Right, right, right. Yeah. right. Mm -hmm. The wet is good. This is hard to decide. Mm. This is not a slam dunk. I really thought it was a slam dunk to dry is better. <laughs> so the wet one has no bean sprouts. It has bean sprouts. Oh, just a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. You can barely see them. They are. Yeah, I think they cook with the sauce. They kind of mix in. Yeah. This one is more noticeable. Okay. Um, Look at this shrimp. Mm. Mm. Shrimp is so juicy. That's the best part, too, for um, the char kway teow. Almost every char kway teow dish has shrimp. Good point. Yeah. In Indonesia, I think we use chicken mostly. I think I like this one better, Ivana. Really? You like the one? Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. In terms of texture, this one's better. In terms of flavor, this one's better. Wow. I I wouldn't think I wouldn't have thought that you would like the wet no. one better because it the sauce that I made earlier fish. smells so fishy. And Steve hates I've fish. opened my eyes to fish in the past year. Although not everything. When Ivana was cooking Nasi Lemak, when the anchovies hit the heat, I literally was hanging out the window. <laughs> when that smell of anchovies cooking, I was like, what is happening? So I'm not all the way there yet. But this one, the texture is better. The flavor here is stronger and more delicious. Mm. I can see them both. Okay, you have to vote. What do you vote for, Ivana? Dry one, it's still my favorite. Wow, I'm gonna go wet. They're both good. Wow. Okay, um, there you have it. So we're split. Wet and dry. <laughs> wet and dry. So we'll see what the comments say. Go to the comments, guys, and vote because we'll have a little, uh, you know, competition there or a challenge or whatever, and we'll see mm. which more popular. And by the way, I'm pretty proud of myself for like acing this, the dish, the two dishes. Totally aced <laughs> it. Totally aced it. I'll t I'll say it. I'll say it. I'll say it. The best truck weight I've, I've ever had. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> And the wet is better. I should open up a restaurant, huh? You have to. International cuisine. Mm-hmm. Wow. For me to even eat a shrimp like this with all the guts on it, this is proof that I'm evolving as a human. Look at that. <laughs> That's something that would make me go, ooh, gross. I can see the eyeballs. Now I'm like getting my hands on it, ripping it apart. Yum, yum. Mm -hmm. Don't eat the shell, right? Just take it out? Yeah. Take don't it. eat the shell. I'm still new to fish. Unless you like it. Not Nothing wrong it. with eating it. You, <laughs> you won't die. You won't die. Okay, guys, there you have it. One vote for wet, one vote for dry. Stay tuned to our next video. Upcoming, you will see laksa. Ooh. We gotta go out and try it first to get the recipe again. So we wanna give some ideas. We'll make a video of us eating it and we'll make another video of us cooking it. And also, where's the best place to get laksa in Kuala Lumpur or nearby? In yeah, Subang Jaya. good point. Let us know. We'll go mm -hmm. there, we'll try theirs, and we'll try to mimic it at the house. Yeah. I say we'll try to mimic it. Ivana will try to mimic <laughs> it. I'll just, I'll just eat You'll it. You'll taste it. I'll just eat it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, there you have it. See you in the next one. Ooh, Let us know in the comments, wet or dry. Bye.